Thank you so much for being with us, Lottie and, and Chris. So tell us a bit about the slate of films that you're working on right now. Uh, well, we just finished a movie uh, called Tesla with Ethan Hawke and uh, I Kyle McLaughlin. I love McLaughlin. Ethan Hawke. <laughs> stop Ethan the show. Hawke. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Interview's <laughs> over now. Yeah. yeah, they're like, um, we have a movie with Ethan Hawke. We're like, greenlit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we have Angels Fallen coming out mm -hmm. on the 23rd of August with Jerry Butler. And Rick Waugh uh, directed it. A big, big action film with Lionsgate, and and then we have uh, Rambo, September twentieth. Wow! So uh, the Last Blood. Oh, wow! With Stallone, right? With Stallone. Yeah, 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 always yeah. a big fan of the Rambo movies. Who was? Who wasn't? You guys, yeah. are, you guys are balling. What's up? Like we kind of are. Serious. <laughs> <laughs> the secret to your success as a, a powerful team, a female-driven team in Hollywood. I think we're just connected as as soon as we met we have a huge connection like we can look at each other from across the room in a meeting and we can know exactly what's going on mm -hmm. we see everything we kind of can assess everything very quickly we just have a great connection so that has helped us with our our business because there's we don't really fight we don't really there's no like well she wants to do something and I want to do something else we sort of are always on the same page so don't you agree? I do. I do. I mean, not always, but usually. Usually. I agree with Sometimes I want to kill her, but she doesn't yeah. know it. But yeah, but I know she wants to kill me. Because I can see it in the eyes. <laughs> you make great strides in the entertainment industry. Uh, clearly, thank you so much for your work and pioneering that. But what advice would you have to other female filmmakers or producers who are trying to navigate Hollywood? Well, I think um, with all the Me Too movement and all that, it, which is great, and we big supporters, and happy that it happened because we obviously been, you know, part of the, uh, I wouldn't say victims, but you know, part of the, the women that were, um, you know, uncomfortable with some situation. But I still think that, you know, the past is the past, and don't drill on it too much, and just go full force, you know to the front and forget about it. Just just do the best that you can now instead of being hurt and instead of hating people for what happened mm -hmm. and um, suing people and and just, you know, be negative. Just go, be positive, you know, do what you can do with the best that you can do and move on. Yeah, there's definitely been a shift. I mean, we're, more women are getting hired and there's equal pay and I think it's a good thing and I think there's a, a it sort of balanced itself out and I think it's going to balance again, rebalance. But um, I think a lot of, you know, it's, it's definitely more women have opportunities and they're directing big films and... So what would you say is the mission other than making a ton of money? Um, what would you say is the mission with, with everything you're up to? Our mission? Yeah. Um, <laughs> what is our mission? <laughs> <laughs> I think we both came from very humble backgrounds, and uh, you know, we were, we've had uh, different sorts of careers over our lives, and you know, we struggled. We weren't like born with, the, uh, you know, we were we were came from the street, so uh, we were raised to be hustlers and to work hard and and to make something happen. And I, I was born ambitious. I mean, I don't know where it comes from. I just have a drive and a fire that is always like burning. So <laughs> you can either get in that way or you're going to get sizzled up. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fire, true. literally. You're my kind of girl, so yeah, hang on. Right? <laughs> Absolutely. So what have you learned like in this journey that you now know that you maybe wish you would have known when you started? Any things that you've learned along the way? You're like, man, wow, had I known this a little earlier, I may have taken a different, slightly different path here. Not that anything is wrong with the path that you took, obviously. Mm -hmm. But is there any? What, what have you learned in the process that you just feel is valuable for other people to know? I think you're constantly learning. I mean, there's so many things I've learned. Like I'll wake up and I'll be like, "Oh my God, confidence is everything. Yeah. Fake it till you make it. All right, let's do that." You know, <laughs> we, we used to go on these hikes. We, um, when she lived near me, we would hike every night and we would have these talks. You know, we have goals, ambitions, what's our next step? And she would say, well, we can't do that. And I'm like, yes, we can. We're going to. So I think, you know, every day we're learning new things and we're learning, you know, about, I don't know, what else? Yeah, I mean, I would um, add to that um, what I wish I would know back then. And even now, I mean, I'm still struggling with it. So coming, being a foreigner and, you know, not the most 
you know, well-spoken and, and, you know, post-PhD educated. Um, so, but, you know, and especially the language, but the language is, is a hard um, thing to deal with if you don't have it perfectly. I mean, I, I speak a few uh, and English is not, you know, the best of them. So, um, so I wish I just um, throughout the years would not pay attention to that too much. And because I see some people who are foreigners, we just saw Caesar, uh, you know, with the dogs. He's like, he just goes for it. Yeah. He doesn't care about his mm -hmm. language or the way he, you know, and, and, it, and it looks great. It's good. And I was, I think, one of, you know, I, I would be a little bit insecure about that. I'm a native English speaker, and I still suck. <laughs> I'm working at it. I mean, it's unbelievably hard. But you're right. The confidence is everything. Confidence, yeah. You know? yeah. Fake it till Fake you, it make, till it. you make it. But for me, it's very hard to do because I'm disgustingly honest sometimes, yeah. so I can't fake it. <laughs> yeah. That's I, that. that I mean, basically, we always say we're, we're very too aggressive, like, barbarians, but we're trying to be polite and help people. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? The, 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 we found out that our aggressiveness works much better than when we are so nice and faking it and sweet and trying to be like everybody. And it never works. It just doesn't that. work. We are who we are, and, you know, if you don't like it, yeah. F you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you have to be a Like I said, these are my girls. In Hollywood. <laughs> Please tell everyone where they can find and follow you and catch your next film. Oh, she's the social media queen. <laughs> yeah. I am. So we have a um, Campbell Grubman Films uh, Facebook page, and uh, and I have an Instagram which she appears on. <laughs> guest appearance. Which is like, uh, not guest, I'm the star of it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. XTA777, it is. <laughs> um, so yeah, she's you're the star. Yeah, she's the star of it. So I have Twitter. I mean, or she has Twitter. Yeah, yeah, Twitter. Yeah, we all, you know, all, yeah. everything. Yeah. I mean, sort of everything. It doesn't sound like people everything we that can... concerned about your Instagram. <laughs> 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 yeah. Thank, yeah. You so. Thank you, ladies, Thanks for so. all the work that you've Thank done you. and all the entertainment you've contributed. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more. Good morning, Lala. And.